In this video, I'll introduce you to Type 1 and Type 2 hypervisors and explain the differences between the two. So let's start with a Type 1 hypervisor. A Type 1 hypervisor is often called a bare metal hypervisor. This is a hypervisor where you'll go out and buy a physical server. And then you'll go ahead and install the hypervisor directly on that physical server. So that's why we call it a bare metal hypervisor. It's essentially the operating system that runs on that physical server and it provides this hypervisor capability so that multiple VMs can run on top of the hypervisor. And there's different options out there for type one hypervisors, right? We have VMware ESXi is the most commonly utilized hypervisor. We have Microsoft Hyper-V and we have Citrix Zen server. They're all different and there are other options as well. Right? There's Red Hat options and, and all sorts of other hypervisor options out there as well. These are probably the big three at this point. And they all sort of work the same way. You buy a physical server. You could even take like a CD drive if you want to do it the old fashioned way. Put your CD drive in, boot up that physical server and install ESXi or Hyper-V. So that's what a type one hypervisor is. And in the case of a type one hypervisor, the software, whether it's ESXi, Hyper-V, Zen server, it has direct access to the physical hardware and can grant that hardware to the virtual machines. With a type two hypervisor, the hypervisor does not have direct access to the hardware. So what you're going to do with a type two hypervisor is you're going to buy a computer and you're going to install some operating system. Maybe it's windows or Mac. And after I've installed that operating system on my computer, I can then install VMware player or VMware workstation or parallels for Mac on top of my existing operating system. And then I can run multiple virtual machines within VMware player, within VMware workstation, within parallels for Mac. The big difference here is that the hypervisor is running on top of another operating system. So if you think about it from the perspective of my VMs with a type one hypervisor, we have my virtual machine and then we have the hypervisor and then we have the hardware. And the VM on top, hypervisor in the middle, hardware on the bottom. And there's only one layer that the virtual machine needs to go through in order to access that physical hardware. Whereas with a type two hypervisor, you have the VM on top, then you have the hypervisor, let's say VMware workstation. Then you have another operating system underneath that. And then finally you have the hardware. So a type two hypervisor isn't really the sort of hypervisor you're going to find in a data center on top of windows and then create yourself a virtual machine that you can do things like take snapshots of. So a type two hypervisor is one that's installed on top of an existing operating system. Whereas type one, those are our bare metal hypervisors. And those are the types you typically see inside of a data center.